All right, in theory, we're back. Let me start up Mumble. One of the biggest problems with AMD cards, AMD graphics cards, especially the brand, not brand new ones, but the 50, uh, the 5. Oh, well, we may be just going to lose frames anyway. That may not have anything to do with it. But that is why it crashed. So one of the big problems with them is it keep dropping 59 frames every time we start it up. That's such a weird number. One of the big problems is that it likes to reset to default settings. The default settings have the voltage dangerously high and the fans dangerously low. And it likes to do this seemingly at random. It says it's from system failures, but it isn't always. Sometimes it's from restarting the computer or shutting down the computer. In any case, our connection still sucks. Um, but we're going to have to start over on this Fulger Anginath fight. So that's fun. Yeah, oh, so I should stop killing it then. Okay. Yeah. It's like I'm not going to be able to just join back in. Or I could, but it wouldn't count. Oh no! It was it was just it was just going to sleep. Oh well. <laughs> so I guess I'm not going to take a break since that was close to a break as we're going to get. But I do want you all to look at these while we're starting back up. If Streamlabs will work, there we go. Under those links are ways that you can help the ongoing protests going on around the country right now. Racism is not over just because one terrible man is out of the White House and a slightly less terrible man is in the White House. That's just not how this works. Racism is a thing that we need to fight uh, around us globally, nationally, locally, within ourselves. And there is, there is just a big old societal problem here where black people are not treated as equal human beings to white people. And that's what these protests are hopefully aiming to eventually correct. Under the second link are ways that you can help those directly impacted by the death of Breonna Taylor, a young black woman who was shot to death in her home by police during a botched raid looking for someone who not only didn't live there but was already in custody. That's absolutely horrifying and something that no one should ever have to be afraid of happening. But this is a reality. This is a reality in this country, in this world, for people of color, especially black people. In short, is hey, we've in the already school. heard this. I'm not ready to already heard this cutscene. Of course. Uh, what? Sorry to ask you. On the black line. lives matter. The lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter, and this is the thing we have to keep saying, we have to keep pushing until the people at the top not only recognize it and acknowledge it, but work to make it a reality. Alright, grab these quests, and then we'll get back to fighting Fulgur Anginath. Kind of annoying how this game doesn't auto-save as often as it needs. It only auto saves immediately after quests. Alright. Death's choice flat. Alright, you're gonna have to join my session, Mox. Oh, right. Heck. I'm trying to figure out what I miss what I'm missing from this box that was here are, before. Mm. You know how there's just a hole in your inventory and you don't know what it's about? Yes. That that that's my current problem. Oh, it was the bombs that I was missing. Okay. That's important. Alright. Signed. Four star, the thunderous troublemakers, the trunderous troublemakers. This time, right before the quest starts. Oh, I can't hit save because I already started up the quest. Oh well. 
fix the desync. I'm so glad. That was probably a result of my card being overheated. It's telling me that no sessions are found, so I don't know what to do about that. Oh, let me make sure that I'm... No, oh, I am online. I don't know what... I, I don't... Try again, I guess? I'm just rapidly clicking the button and tracking, and do I need to start over? I don't know why this would do it to me. Here, go visible so I can invite you to the game. You got an invite? I did in the fun. Alright, hopefully that'll work. Join invited session. There we go. All right, shows you in now. All right, post quest. Assign. The Trundurus Double Maker. Change equipment. <laughs> Whoops, almost forgot. Ice, there we go. Ice, ice, baby. A very, very big wobble maker. Winnie the Pooh is awesome, y'all. If you're looking for something from the 90s to watch, the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh, while lacking the nuance of its source material, both the books and the movies, absolutely holds up in a lot of ways. Oh, did I forget to switch out my... No? Huh. I was just short one hot drink. How odd. Alright, I guess if we just run right up the middle, we should find what we need. Hey, Andy. I don't think I said hi yet. And Andy. I don't need any other helmet. All I need is my wiggly head. I yeah, that's right. Like... Take that, beetle. Did you just... I just what kicked a beetle and stole its crystal burst. Rude! <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do pop my head right off sometimes. It's true, I've seen it. Horrifying. They're just like, hey, wanna see me take off my entire head? And then they do it. Everyone screams because they've removed their entire head. It's like that one, I forget which story it is, with the, like, the ribbon. They just, they just remove the, oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, bones. I need bones. I hope you don't mind me getting these bones while you, you just cut. Kind of... Ah, no worries. Oh. Everyone needs bones here and there. At least a little bit. Oops. Bone ah. bounty complete. She just spat on me. She does that. Good forking up the uh, Bunbaro. There ain't no room. Ow! That was nowhere near me. That's that's the even that one pushed me back. I also saw the camera jerk around. That was that tail attack. It's hitbox interacting with me pushing me back, despite being almost the entire length of the dinosaur away. The hitbox on this skeleton is far 
on the tail specifically. Speepy, 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 speepy. All right, I stopped attacking just in time. It's hard to stop when you're uh, when you're a helicopter. Oh, Tigrex is coming, by the way. Oh, uh, I see him. How about you come over here instead? Just, just over here. There you go. You were not even near that. I appreciate it, but you were not even near that. Oh, I thought it was the, the beetle knocking her down. Oh. So the beetle like... hit her and then she went flying. Oh, God. No, I mean, she, she went into the, the trap. I think you hit her into the beetle? Ah, uh, that's very possible. The beetle like, might have was... staggered her. You hit her into the whatever. Can y'all just... No, y'all can fight each other, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. I got a health booster. Oh, okay. And she's yeah. running away. Yep. Yeah. I'm going after her. I ain't dealing with Tigrex over here. Tigrex ain't having nothing to do with us either, to be fair. Um, Tigrex is coming directly for you, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, she was going the opposite way. And then suddenly she was right behind me. She's right behind me, isn't she? She was, yes. Thank you, Christy. And Andy. See if I can get this tail off again. The insect blade is perfect for tail cuts. This is why. Oh, look at that. Look where I am. She jumped and she took half my body with her. Oh no. Are you okay? No, I'm just missing half the body. I think I think I'll survive, but like not well. So Ow. the uh, the snoot bone, as you put it, is actually an air pouch. She inflates to look scarier. Well, there goes the tail. That was quick. Good job, Andrew. That's exactly what you wanted, right? Absolutely. Are you saying that Mox is a fungus? mushroom with teeth this whole time. You can't just say these things live on air. There are people listening. <laughs> yeah, I get told that a lot if I'm being honest. I call that an anthropo mushroom.
So I honestly always thought that it was strange that The Last of Us was not called Among Us. Anyone else no, with that's, me on that one? That's, that's a different game. It's, yeah, it's a... maybe that's why. Did Among Us exist when The Last of Us 1 came out? I know it's not actually as recent as people think it's. Yeah, but it has a good couple years on... You got the tail, right? Oh, thank you. I completely forgot to the tail. But hasn't been around as long as the first The Last of Us game. Because if The Last of Us could have been called Among Us, and they didn't take that opportunity, then that's just lost. Among Us was like 2018, so Last of Us was definitely around first, but it wouldn't be the, the only missed opportunity. Ain't that oh, the truth? Oh, this is just a bad zone. I am fascinated by how highly people think of The Last of Us 2's story. Hydrax behind you. I watched it played. Oh, thank you. I watched it played, and like, the story's kind of a lot of nothing. But I guess that actually makes sense, because they did call it the Citizen Kane video games, and the story of Citizen Kane is also kind of nuts. Honestly, I think that's just not a phrase people understand. They just know that Citizen Kane is supposed to be really good. So if they like a game, they're gonna be like, it's the Citizen Kane of video games. Honestly, no AAA game is ever going to be... No AAA game is never going to be able to match what small indie games can be. Because in the end, a AAA game has to be a product. like how blockbusters will never be able to match what indie films can do. I was just trying to drink some hot soup. Well, I'm trying to drink some hot cauldron. Drink hot dinosaurs and lie. Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is mostly good, except for the parts where it's clearly designed by Mark. Yep. Oh, thank you. You know, for taking that, that hit. Yep, because I would have died if I had taken it just then. Putting a health booster up on this cliff. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> or then she just manages to... What? What is this AI sometimes? She jumped at me, missed completely, and then just left. Once I watched an indie film where someone took their film camera everywhere for a couple of years, long after film cameras were not required for filming. It was cool. It was a band who did it, so they used their own music throughout. Ah, so like a real-life version of, uh... 
of, uh, this is Spinal Tap. Alright, you ready to... You ready to fuck up a dinosaur? Always. Usually. Why are you on the cliff? Just tempting me. Why if only just... we could just push her off like an hit. Hit monster. Alright, like I need I... juice. I prefer to pet. Which I guess is what mon Monster Hunter stories. How did you even hit me? Monster yeah, Hunter that hit me somehow about? too. Yeah, Monster Hunter stories is really great for the petting. Ow! Ow! Jeez. Okay, that again didn't make sense. Just, Apparently, you know, it's. It's just Anjanath's entire skeleton it doesn't make sense. It's why Devil Joe is so scary, because it's a scaled up Anjanath hitbox. So that's, that's why the people problem. Are scared of Devil Joe because it can hit you from across the room with its tail. It can hit you from literally anywhere. It is a menace. Mm-hmm. It won't look like it hit you, but by god will you fall the fuck over. What's that? You're the length of three Devil Joes away? Well, watch out! Devil Joe's turning around! <laughs> Apparently Stories 2 is coming out at the same time as, uh... Rise? As Rise, yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna be on Switch, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if it'll get a PC port like Rise does. It says in Steam, so I don't know if that... Oh, good. I didn't find it on Steam when I went looking for it. I was just like, I wanted to see Monster. I, I don't think Rise is on Steam yet either. But I'm assuming that it will be when it comes out. I mean, you can jump over here, right, in this- No! Don't send that spit at me! Jump over here and land in this trap is what I want for you. Penguins, you shouldn't be here! I'll notice how there hasn't been much talk about esports and the general lexicon lately. It's been kind of refreshing. There you go. Like, we all knew it was a bubble that was about to burst, but this is quicker than I expected. Oh, bye. He's still not limping, though. Maybe it just feels like she should be limping because we've had to fight her twice. That makes sense. He is grumping, though. Again, hold still. No, hold still, not run directly at me. He doesn't listen very well. Why do you turn around? Not. There. There we go. Ah! You turned around and blocked the beetle. There we go. Alright. Now we got this. Let's go jungle. I'm just down there at her belly inflicting a thousand tiny cuts, and I feel bad about it, but it is still happening. 
I'm just on her back inflicting a thousand slightly larger cuts. Okay, like 500 slightly larger cuts, maybe. Mount! No. Mount! Damn it. She does not want to be mounted. Oh no, turf war again. Bye. Whoop. They can do that on their own, thanks. Oh, and, and, oh, now you're skull. Yeah, they're, they're ready to be captured. Oh, yeah. Oh, that just did 3,200 damage. They went into that ready to be captured, so it was kind of hilarious. Yeah. Alright, let's follow. Hi, Grex, I'm going the opposite way as you. Stop being aggressive. They did just fall into one of the shock traps, so, uh... Yeah, I kind of... I was kind of hiding behind it while they were fighting in case one of them turned on me. Oh, yeah. And again, this is all mo -capped. This is all very impressive mo -cap. You got a trap ready? I can... Please stop. If, if she would just stop flinging spit at me, I could absolutely rest one right down on her body. Okay. Excellent. Boom! That's the stuff. Supply convoy still hasn't arrived. Think something might have happened? Seems like a pandemic would be a great time for esports. Neither the competitors or the audience need to be in the same building, yeah. It would be if the competition were the point. Unfortunately, it's money making, and there's and that's easier to do with physical venues. Yeah. And yeah, U.S. infrastructure is way too shit to run any kind of event. And yeah, um, one of the biggest problems that esports has run into is that everyone wanted to fake it. Blizzard succeeded for a while, which they still haven't admitted. But it doesn't take a grown-up to look at a lot of the shit in Overwatch League and realize, oh, this is clearly scripted. It's like how when you're, like, 12 or 13, well, okay, pre kayfabe loss, when you're 12 or 13, you want to believe these large, beefy men are actually slamming each other's heads into the ground from six feet into the air? But once you're a little older, it becomes increasingly obvious that this is very impressive what they're doing, perhaps, but it's also very silly. Unlike Hood Slam, which is real. Yes. Hey, there's Poogie! Poogie's finally here! <laughs> Good to see you back in one piece. So I do want to apologize that the stream is probably a little jerkier than usual, but it's not horrible. I say as then we suddenly lose another hundred frames as I'm talking. But it's been better than expected and worse than hoped. Celion is up and running. It's amazing how fast everybody got the place together. I know you only just got back, but I've got news from Astera. They say even more subspecies never seen in the New World are suddenly crawling out of the woodwork. But with so many monsters out here, Astera is short on manpower. Yeah. I don't suppose I could ask you to head back east and lend a hand. With their hands already full with rushing those fortifications to us, I'm worried somebody's going to do something crazy. But you know when to call a mission if things get out of hand. I trust you, and so does everyone back in Astera. If we could get you out there, it'd be a huge relief. I'd really appreciate it. A communication error occurred. Error code 83MW1. Continuing uh. the game in offline mode. Go to the quest counter or quest board to search for and create an online session. So that's the huge infrastructure problem that we're now having because of the data center that burns down. I can pretty much guarantee Let's that. I'm gonna... 
go to the board and create a session after grabbing this quest. Okay. Hey. How goes the hunt? Me, I'm about to head out on another investigation. I heard the song back there, then there was a sudden seismic action. That's the part I'm still puzzling out. I aim to focus my search on those tremors for now. But this time I'll be more careful. Not sure if I'd survive another lecture from Junior. <laughs> you be careful too. Oh yeah, the mocap sessions for this game are great. You don't see a job like that where everyone is clearly having that much fun that often. But everyone just has big fucking grins on their face as they pretend to be Godzilla. That's exactly right, Bad Road. The United the United States has very bad internet infrastructure. Some of the worst in the world now. It's just gotten worse over the past four years. I'm going bonkers like it was never good, but it's gotten worse. I'm going bonkers here with all these ideas. I saw Hunter wearing a thunderproof mantle and my mind was like, cram something in it. And Hunter, you bet your boots I'm gonna. Take care of the quest. Trap the Thunderjaw and we can get to work. Whenever you get the time there, Hunter. I know everyone's not itching to get cramming, but you'd sure scratch mine if you helped me out. What if I crammed yours? Hmm. Well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned that there's a character in Monkey Island 2. And if you use the pick up command, Guybrush starts acting like a skis ball. And uh, she has a quick retort to every pick up line he uses, and it's pretty great. Oh, pick up as in the other thing, not just lift off the ground. Yeah, normally the command is just for lifting off the ground, though. Create an online session. Yes. What? Why is it having to reload to create a new session? That's silly. Alright, session's up. We can help with. Let's head over to Astera and find our new... Oh no, I gotta switch you back to your Dodogama outfit, as cute as this one is. Is it the one with the little dumpling ears? No, it's... it's uh... It's got like a big fluffy collar and a parka. Oh my god. Just the nose is sticking out and it's got some snot hanging down. Oh my god. It's really adorable. Alright, switching back to Dodo Hama. Oh, I just realized I can change Dodo Hama's colors. I'm leaving it default though. I'm so glad we finally have Poogie over here, though. So I'm assuming it'll follow us back and forth. Yeah, Poogie's here with me now. Hello, Poogie. Oh, they good. put the outfit on. Yeah. It looks like they still have the snot even though they're warm, so that's you a bit too. worrying. I have to take you to the vet. I don't know where the vet is. Where's the, the, wait, wait, hold on. The only thing that we do to monsters here is like beat them, like out of, beat the bones out of them and then make pants. So I'm a bit yes, worried sir. about any animal she specialist that we might run help. into. I'm thankful. You're just the help that we needed. It wasn't long after you left that we started getting reports of the song being heard all around the new world. Soon after that, previously undiscovered subspecies appeared, and wasted no time before starting to run amok. Commander, I have strong reason to believe that the song is what caused the Legiana to fly across the hinterlands. And if monsters start leaving their natural habitats, it's only natural that there are other consequences for the ecosystem. I think this is all tied back to what was written on the cloth. Song and impact on the ecosystem. Ah, yes. I've been told what was written on that cloth. 
It seems very likely that the Puke Puke and Paolumu subspecies were a precursor to our current troubles as well. At any rate, I'll be sure to take meticulous notes about where all these monsters have started to become active. Right. I'll leave you to it. Remember, I'm counting on you to help repair Celiana's defenses. Good luck. More subspecies? Hmm. Are they picking up on some kind of change in the environment? Nothing can stop us! A variant or subspecies, which are actually two different things mechanically. Variants tend to have extra tricks, while subspecies will generally be stronger with perhaps one or two extra moves. New specialized tool. A blaze in the sand. Slay a Teoster in the Wildspire Waste. That sounds easy. Let's get this done. Armor's still not ready to upgrade, that's fine. Do you want to fight Asaglav or Ebony Oli? Um, hmm, good question. Which one would you rather do? Well, we know how Glav fights. Mm-hmm. So we might as well go with Odie just for the, the variety of the thing. Alright, so that's... Assuming that's bad friends, great enemies? I also am assuming that. Our job is to investigate the acidic Glavinus and Ebony Odogaran. Fear said than done, right? I guess. Yeah, Ebony Odogaran. AKA Burnt Beef Jerky. Oh, it took away my ticket. It took away my extra my extra reward doubling ticket. Because I hit log in and then Okay, this one has a cutscene. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for it. Run the cutscene and then join mine. That's rough. Now, uh, where is this one being held? That's a good question. I literally just pressed the buttons and didn't look at anything ever. Oh well, which so which map has it sent you to? As soon as it loads, I will absolutely tell you. It's telling me about damage reduction currently. Oh, this is the Coral Highlands. Okay, so don't need any drinks. No specific drinks required. I also forgot to actually switch to its weakness. What is its weakness? I'm using paralysis, so I can't readily tell you. All right, let me find out. I'm keeping a record of the monsters Ebony Odogar. Uh, connection's steadily getting worse again. Right, it is weak to water. Let me switch out to water. Haven't used that one today. Yes. Give me more puppy prints. Thank you for giving me more puppy prints. I also need more puppy prints. Just one puppy print over this one. I feel like it'll be in the same place that uh, regular Odogaran like frequent, so it shouldn't be like too big of a deal. But like Odogaran has a huge, huge uh, area that it can appear down. But it like likes. Did you go left or right? A uh, wrong person to ask that particular question to. Well, I need to know. Um, I went. Uh, the place where Pow goes, and then I went up the Pow's uh, zone, so and then I'm going to go left, probably. Up. 
it's usually in the place where Kieran hangs out. Like, I usually see it crossing there looking for me, you know? Mm -hmm. that's yeah, that's where right. the cutscene okay. is. Found a second print, at least. Is it just like hopping on one foot really, really hard? That's the impression I get from these footprints. Oh my god. Okay. I'm guessing it's a big scary cutscene. Yeah, as per usual. Alright, old footprints. Level up. Fortunately, oh, me yeah. taking the long way around means that you have more time to get out of your quests and get ready to join them. This does dragon damage, if that was a thing that you needed to know real quick. No, nah, I'm not uh, interested in resistances right at the moment. Oh, here it is. At the cliff base, huh? I thought you meant further to the east. Oh, hey, there's regular Odo Garin. You're not who I was looking for. You can now use the SOS player. Be sure to win this party stage if necessary. Don't come over here! You should just be able to hit return in any case. I did, and it was very a very good thing that I did because <laughs> <laughs> Wow, just dead, huh? Yeah, that's the thing. Just throws it aside, too. Holy shit. You know, I'm not as big of a meal. It would have made more sense. Never mind. Alright, jerky. SOS flare ready. Okay, I gotta sprint towards... I'm sprinting towards the canteen. Which I now need to remember where it is. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, it just keeps fucking moving. Yeah, it's faster and stronger than the regular one. Who are you? I'm you, but stronger and a different color. It's bigger, faster, and stronger too. The first member of the Odo crew. Huh, Odo. Odo Garan. Ow. Okay. Oh good, Dragon Blight. Yeah, yeah. Right now I'm just trying to get my juice and it is not working. There we go. I say that and then instantly get my juice. Because this game just wants me to be wrong. Fuck off. I should, in fact, have cured the dragon. I am on my way in a dubious... Wait, Nargakuga is here also. Well, that won't be a problem. Oh my god, I really don't like just how easily it inflicts dragon. Why did I take the different way more sensible? It's too late now. It was always too late. Thank you, Kafa. Can probably stop at inflicting dragon blight if we can take out its tail. Kind of the impression I'm getting from how it's inflicted. How am I lost already? I just... I was like on autopilot mm -hmm. and I just kind of like entered the, the, the... I almost entered the Naga zone and that's not where I needed to be right then. If everything in this in this zone would stop being angry at me that, and then I could take a taxi to the place where I need to go. I 
thing. There we go. Very nice. I got I think half rounds. I I saw. I'm taking the scenic route apparently. I should be like drinking some beer while I'm taking the scenic route. Once I've got the hang of staying out of its way, not as bad as it initially appeared. Alright, it's asleep now. Wonderful. You're almost here. I'm gonna you put may down, be asking. I'm gonna put down my barrels. Well, as long as it doesn't wake up before I get there, this will be fine. And I'm about to wake it up. You, you wake it up. Um, I am meandering. Alright. Here we go. She's finally back and about time too. And this time, she's in the mood. Oh, she's and running away. now they've left. Yay. Great. Just enough time for the first round, I guess. I've got friends in nyai places, damn right. This monster is a dog made of beef jerky. That's what you mean, Bad Road. Found bones. I'm glad somebody has to have bones in this in this partnership. <laughs> what are you what are you doing? You're just kind of screaming you're sniffy and you so it's acting like you is what you're saying. Lilla! So the thing I'm having a hard time with is hitting her tail when she's not being held still. Which can often help. Oh, I get it? No, I thought I'd knock her tail off there. No. Hale got wounded. Not sure who did it. I think we're working together. Oh, Naga. Hey. There we go. Solid hits. Oh, just ran out of juice. Shock trap where? Oh, there Landed you are. on it. There was a very big angry cat, like, blocking my entire view, so I didn't know that for uh, a second. she hostile? Very, apparently. Oh dear. There it is. She's hostile to Odo, I'll say that. Doesn't seem to be noticing me just yet. Ooh! Wow, Odo just did, like, 3200 damage to her. And now she's... No, no, Odo's still winning. Wrong, wrong pet in the trap. Wrong pet in the trap. That cat landed on the trap. There we go. Get that tag in there. I'm getting pretty good with that, uh, eye tag. You just need a tag and it doesn't matter where. Much, much easier. Yeah. Oh no. Wow, that almost got me. Oh my god, stop getting just out of the way. Holy shit. Ah, oh, I 
thought it was in our periphery. I'm so happy that your hammer can just knock her through soft floors. Ow, rude. That's my fourth Nullberry. you go oh you hit me with your hammer i was like why am i flying straight into the air and it's because i landed on your hammer like that did not do enough damage oh i understand i was briefly confused is what i'm saying oh i'm almost out of potions just having to pick so many Small injuries. All right, bye. I shouldn't say you hit me with your hammer in that case. It's more like I hit your hammer with me. You walk straight into the spikes that my hammer has for some reason. <laughs> Dove head first into them, in fact. Ah! Oh, whoops. That's fine, I can fix it. This tail has a lot of fucking part of it. I cannot believe I haven't knocked it off. She is not having a good time right now, huh? There, finally. Christ. Get some heavy concentration. Aha, I too have a mantle. Bug juice. I wait for that bug juice to recharge. Now, oh, whoops.
found a love paralysis. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought she was falling asleep for a sec, but no. At the tail? Right. You? Giggles and Mox were talking one day, and Mox said, How do you feel about the rise in monsters taking out hunters? And Giggles replies, What do I care? I'm a helicopter. <laughs> They said they needed more hunters on the ground, and I said no thanks. Oh no. Alternate. They said they needed more hunters on the ground, and I said, the what? Okay. Going down there, I guess. There she comes. That was weird. So Giggle said, I'm coming to help you. Mox said, Holy crap, a talking helicopter. Okay, they're very angry. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's because I chopped their tail off. That'd do it, yeah. He's trying to show that uh, it doesn't actually matter and that she can still thunder blight me using her mouth. Dragon blight me. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the good shit right there. Oh, that was perfect. I'm glad you had fun. She took off like half my health. I don't know what she does when she becomes a blender. That does dragon that takes blight. off like No, I mean no, I'm not getting dragon blighted at all. Oh. That's like raw damage that she's doing to me. Wow. Oh, your defense was higher than me. It is, that's why I'm not getting dragon blighted. Uh, must be something oh yeah, I see what she was doing. So the thing that uh, is doing just a ton of damage to you is when she does that thing where she rears up and slaps you with both her claws. That took yeah, off half of my HP. Yeah, that's the problem. That thing. Oh, where God. the dog becomes a blender. And if you're dragon blighted, that probably does even more damage because I think it has an elemental effect, judging by the animation. Oh, come on! I was so far outside of that. It may not have been, actually. I'm just saying. That one I was outside of. The hitbox on it is tricky at best. Confusing at worst. Get off on the head. Get on top of the Hydra's back. Alright. Oh, oh my precious combo. Oh well. Knock you out of it? Uh, you did actually, but it's fine. Oh, sorry about that. I was trying to stay far away from you. But it, you're kind of a whirling dervish of death and destruction is the problem. Usually. This is also a small monster, so we've been managing to slam into each other.
with the larger monsters, it's not even a problem. Where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's she's right next to me, trying to, you know, murder me. And I thought, I thought she was done she with does that. that. Well, I guess she's uh, gonna go sleep now. I mean, I haven't been collecting enough paw prints to tell you. Me either. I'm waiting for you in the hole. Ah, beauty is in the Welcome eye of the, to the beholder. Hole. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the hole. We've got fun and games. We've got everything you want, but mostly holes. You just teleported in front of me. Yeah, that's the net code. Oh, All right. speedy. Alright. Look, she sleeps with her eyes open. Good. Her lightning open. Good. We win. I won. Amazing work. Oh, it was stricken out. Good. Got all kinds of Ebony Odo Garn. How about that? I am so glad that jewels aren't like a super rare limited resource in this. That was one of the strangest things that made the endgame of Monster Hunter World fucking unbearable. And another thing that makes Iceborne more like a real Monster Hunter game. That's a part... so... I say Monster Hunter World is good despite being the worst game in the series. The end game of Monster Hunter World is trash. It should not be played. It is bad. I do not think it deserves to be on the shelf. You're doing great. Wow, on the shelf. That's that's an outdated term, huh? Given that games are no longer physical. Very rarely. I mean, I, I, we, we have a good collection of physical Switch games, certainly. But it's certainly not the most common way to do things. Alright, more armor sphere. Hey, look. Actual... Actual things that I want to. Oh, I think that's gonna about do it for tonight. It is 11.02. Look at that. Right on time. Right on time. That, that Odo Garin took us exactly long enough. So thanks everyone for joining me, especially Moths. Ah. Tomorrow, uh, Alice will be playing something. If the capture card's fixed, it'll be, uh, what's that game called? Paper Mario the Origami King. Uh, otherwise, she'll come up with something else. Friday will be Katie, hopefully with Super Mario 3D World. Sunday will be Community Day. Hopefully by then, our internet will be completely fixed. It's always hard to tell with Fox Communications, but this isn't all on them for once. Uh, and we'll have Community Day, probably with more zombie blasting. Monday will be Christy with more Hades, which is just lovely. Just a lovely game. It's very sweet. Tuesday will be Andrea with hopefully more Final Fantasy Legend 2. And Wednesday will be back around to me and Mox with more Monster Hunter World Ice Boy. Thank you everyone for all of your support in whatever way you choose to and are able to give it. And... Uh, oh, right. Schedule, YouTube, those are at schedule and youtube.truck.community, respectively. Check those out. Our schedule has not only ours, but our partner streamers listed. And uh, you should check them out if you like what we do here. 
And finally, um, our YouTube has uh, thousands and thousands of hours of video for you to check out. If you can believe that. There's, there's just so much stuff to binge. Alright. My name is Sue. I hate video games. My regards to the next frog. Good night. Good night.